Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel again. I'm still with the lovely Kevin, Hello. Cynthia and Steve of Kevin Rambles and some weird sound going off. Um, I've been wanting to do, be quiet. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while since I overheard of this. Yep. If I say, did you know there's a stone circle in Surrey? You'll say, what? Yeah. There's no stone circles in Surrey. Well, there is the Pyford stone. But we are going to see the Dragon Stones, Dragon Stones yeah. which was uh, erected in the late 1990s by an order of megalithic druids. Oh, it's those. Yeah. Now, it has to be said, I think that Avebury, Stonehenge, all that kind of thing, I was on a week away from going to Avebury again. Um, stone circles and ancient sites have got actually nothing to do with the druids. Absolutely nothing. They're thousands of years apart. But like a lot of neo-pagans, they sort of adopt them as a ceremonial site. So uh, we're going to have a little walk up this lovely track and try and find it. And I might do a spot of dowsing around there as well. Try and find it is the right... Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> they had an adventure last time trying to find it, which was, yeah. which was great. Yeah. We did find an Iron Age fort. Yes. Oh, yeah. We've got um, Hascombe Hill. has got an Iron Age hill fort. Yep. And, um, we weren't, and we had no intention of finding that, but we did. We I mean, did, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to they got to touch the door. Go on, you guys. <laughs> Nicking my traditions. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's it. We're all there. We're all there. Look. All right. The weather's perfect. You're in the house here. Look at that. No. Why is there a gate? Is there a gate there? Oh, there's a gate there. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, some of the old buildings here in the old farm. We can walk up towards Hascombe Hill. Beehive on the end of the house there. Look at that. Good morning. Hello. Hello. We don't know. Oh, I this was a, an old drover's track. Yeah, it could have been an old drover's track. Yeah. Holy views. What a way to spend a Friday. Yeah. Friday's Poncho's day. Yes, Friday the 17th of May today. This will time next week. Over the time of recording, I'll be in Avebury. That'd be good. But you're seeing, it's taking a very, oh, it's taking a really nice spiritual B&B. &B. Very cool. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so when Kevin and Cynthia were here last, they took a wrong turning to get to the stones, which they did get to eventually, it's on their video. Um, and we're hoping that we have got the right route this time, because I really would like to see them. On this glorious day, mid-May, glorious day. What a view, up to the Surrey Hills. Absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Tennis courts there. Look at the terrace there, just over there, where that sitting in the sun. Just over there on that sort of shingled bed over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, just going through this gate. Thank you very much. Straight on, Straight on. Okay, now onto the lovely fields. View. What a view. And I think the stone circles just through these trees here. And here it is, guys. The dragon stones. We're here. The beautiful dragon stones. Oh. Say. Only sort of 25, 26 years old. 
but a stone circle in Surrey. Isn't that fantastic? And these aren't very well known. Uh, now the question I have is, are they, they don't look, are they sarsen stones? They can't, because sarsen's not round here. There are some sarsen uh, up at Bagshot Lee. Um, yeah, wonder why they chose this spot. I mean, it's got a commanding view over Southern England. It's amazing, I mean, wanted to come here for years, for years. I was curious, I just doused, did a bit of dowsing, I was curious to know if there's an earth energy current, why they built the stones on this spot. But I'm getting absolutely nothing. It says no. There's no earth energy current that comes through here. There's no real reason, unless the author of the Druids, who may be watching this years later, could tell me why, that why it was built in this spot. Beautiful it is. I mean, it's fantastic. You know me in a good stone circle. The only stone circle in Surrey. I love it. Absolutely love it. Amazing job. And all done by good old brute force. 1998 and 1999 by the megalithic order of druids as i said earlier when i saw it to kevin you know there's no there's no connection between uh, the druids and stone circles anyway yeah. they're thousands of years apart yeah. um but it's an amazing spot they've done such a fantastic job here yeah the, yeah, the, the views are just stunning aren't yeah they? absolutely stunning all right on a glorious day like today yeah very lucky the pub one from the horizon? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've sort of done a bit of a bucket list. I've been wanting to come here since I did this YouTube channel yeah, back in yeah. 2018 when I started here. I've yeah. always wanted to come here, but I didn't know where it was. Yeah, yeah. I, got, so I had a rough idea. I thought, where do you park? Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, yeah, exactly. And then actually, yeah. the walk's not that long. It's not that bad. No, no, no not at all. Um, no. Oh, so, Cynthia was just, we were talking about one of the stones over there, and she said about the lines in the stone. I said, well, what you, when you look at it, what it is, it's where a drill's gone in. There are several layers going down. I've seen at some point they would have put sticks of dynamite in to have blown the rock out. Mm. And that's one of the stones over there. Right. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's a yeah. little bit of an investigation, you yeah. work it out. But there's yeah. no, in, I'm not feeling anything here at all. No. Nothing. I think it's here for decoration. Yeah, quite likely. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. But it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It is. For, the, for the untrained eye who didn't know about it, they'll think it's a real stone circle. Absolutely, yeah. But sorry, see, sorry, hasn't got any stone circles. Yeah. They might have years gone by that were undiscovered, but mm. we sorry generally, and the Thames Basin is not big for stone circles. Cynthia said just a moment ago, though, could there have been sometime in the past something of a religious place thing here? Well, it's a quite, com can I say commanding again? Commanding view, yeah. commanding spot, but I'm sorry, I'm picking up no energy no, nothing signatures. At all, no. Nothing at all. No, no. Which I did, I muffed him, I didn't think I would. Mm. So, yeah. Years ago, sort of shells, yeah, isn't it? Yes, that's in a couple of other stones we found, I think, up in the Peak District. Yeah, they could be sediments of millions of years old because these I don't think these are sarsen stones. These I don't, I'm not up on my stone. I, I know sarsen, but mm. say sarsen's not really from around this area. There is some bagshot lee I said earlier on the video, but um, mainly stone circles are made out of sarsen in the West Country at least and Stonehenge. Well, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting, all these little shells. It's probably because they're from the sea bottom yeah. millions of years ago. I wonder if there's a bee that's chewing the rock. Yeah, they go into the um, it, bricks on my house. I saw this one, Mark. Look, look at this. Look at that. There, and, and this. If anyone can offer any insight into this, could you please let us know? Because they can't be millions of years old or. Well, look, it definitely looks like little fossils. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, look, look at that. If anyone knows anything about this kind of thing, please drop it in the comments, because people love to do that. Oh no, people love to correct you when you get a village wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. village, <laughs> a village name wrong. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's pronounced yeah. this. Yeah. When we went to Berwick. Berwick, yeah. We only said Ber Berwick for a couple of set yeah. minutes, yeah. and then we got, we said, yeah. no, Berwick, Berwick, Berwick. And then there's your famous one. Oh, Merstham. No. Oh, uh, Caldry. Yeah. You got it right this time. 
Chowdhury, you keep calling it. I know. <laughs> Chowdhury. I said, I'm not Indian. Very Indian. I'm not Sussex, I'm sorry. <laughs> Although, saying that, I've still got Merston wrong on mine in my original yeah, video. Yeah, that's so. right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, amazing. Whoever, no, if anyone ever sees this video, there's actually not that many videos online about this place, about the Dragonstones. Oh, Great name, by the way. Um, if anyone from the Order of Druids who's still with us and could comment, thank you so much. It really is impressive. Really impressive. I wonder where these stones would have come from. I wonder where. Were they imported in? Um... There's little holes in there, yeah. How interesting. So if they live on their own... I don't know how they have baby bits. <laughs> yeah. you, you There's only one seems to go in the hole. Yeah. She knows me too well. Could be um, a safety to the world. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. As I say, I didn't get... I did a bit of dowsing. Got absolutely nothing. No signatures whatsoever. So it could have been put here just by committee, really. Could have been said, oh, this is a good high point. Good viewing platform over to the South Downs. But I'm not getting any energy signature at all. Um, another dowser might come here and might get something, but usually most people are on the same sort of path on that. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can see where they've started mm. doing other ones. Could have come out of an old quarry. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. There's not much online. If you go to the megalithic port, all there's some stuff about about the dragon stones. I love the name, the dragon <coughs> stones. Yeah, so a lot of them are shaped in, in, in the shape of teeth. Yeah. Give you a scale of it, Cynthia walking through and give you a scale of the, yeah. the circle. Straight into shop. <laughs> no, no, you're supposed to be, it's all right. So thank you, dragon stones. Lovely. Thank you very much. Impressive, isn't it? It's impressive. impressive. No, it's just a general... Uh, um, we're going to have a walk back. We might do the circular walk back round. I think we've got plenty of time. Have we? Um, yeah. Circular, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then a pub at the White House. House. The, horse. <laughs> the White Horse well, Pub. We're going to have lunch at the White not Horse the white Pub. White House. Why do I keep calling it the White House? Well, it's white. Yeah, it's white. It's yeah. white That's about so the only resemblance. So we're gonna, it's weird. Can I ask you a question? Is it weird coming out on a walk, you folk, without doing a video? But they've really come here for me, which is really lovely. I've got my camera in my bag, and I've... It's yeah. not. It, today was for you. Oh. Yeah, but is it weird? Does it feel wrong? It does feel it weird. It does feel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't... Go, my camera goes... If it's not going to work, my camera's with me all the time. Yeah, yeah it does feel a bit yeah. weird. So, uh, yeah, so the video's not over yet. We're going to have a little walk up to the... Um, back to the pub, really, for lunch. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, yeah, thank you again to the fantastic Dragonstones. I'm so impressed and really a bit of a ticking off the, the list. Let's go. Yes. Is. Is this three rings? Yeah. yeah there. There. Directly between. Between those two fur trees. It may be behind the tree rings. Well, I haven't been a video there since 2018. Yeah, I've never been there. <laughs> Kevin ends up doing it after all. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll be a gate yeah, boy. You're a gatekeeper. Yeah. You said that on the uh, other video. <laughs> Okay. Well done, Kevin. Well done, Kevin. So we're taking a slightly different route back down to the pub, which is more of a linear walk and not too hilly, which is great. I think something in my eyes, yeah.
or back in Hascombe with the pond there and the geese that were spitting at us earlier on and the pub around the corner. We're going to go for a pub lunch now. With the snappy geese? Yeah. <laughs> it's, lilac. it's not, but it looks like a lilac. All shaped like it. Called snowballs, something or other, isn't it? So I'm really pleased we made it to the Dragonstones. Thank yep. you very much for taking us along You're the very route. Welcome. And lovely walk on the way back. Yep. It was a beautiful day. So thanks again, everyone. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. I feel I've ticked a, bo a, uh, ticked a box. Yeah, we have today. Just going to yeah. those stones. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Steve. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Easily forgotten. Kevin, Kevin that's it. of Kevin's Rambles. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully, one of his walks as well. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Yeah, he's running. We got... That's all right. At the, uh... For someone who actually deals with fire alarms at work, that was like, what? <laughs>